from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist during this Easter week. My, I'm Father Michael Coots. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from an anonymous donor from Scarborough, Ontario. This Mass is being offered in loving memory of Tyron Wong and for the deceased members of the Wong family. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And now as we begin to celebrate this Eucharist, we ask the God of mercy to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the salt of the earth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light to all nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We praise God as we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit <clears throat> through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, look at us. And the man fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, the man stood and began to walk. And he entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising God. All the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell all of all his wonderful Let 
the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Let all who seek the Lord rejoice. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. On the first day of the week, the two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and they were talking to each other about all the things that had happened. <clears throat> While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And Jesus said to them, what were you discussing with one another while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleophas, answered him, are you the only one in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place in these days? Jesus asked them, what things? <clears throat> They replied, things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to, to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they indeed had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb, and they found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are and how slow of heart to believe all those the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village, to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, Lord, for it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. And so he went in to stay with them. While he, he was at table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it and gave it to them. 
and their eyes were opened, and they recognized Jesus, and he vanished from their sight. The two disciples said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road and while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and the companions gathered together. They were saying, the Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then the two disciples told what had happened on the road, and the Lord had been known to them, and how the Lord had been known to them in the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the gospel, Mark tries to downplay the miracles of Jesus so that people may not know him as a wonder worker. Luke, on the other hand, looks at the miracles of Jesus as a letter of provenance, a testimony, a witness to the teachings of Jesus Christ. In our reading of the, from the Acts of the Apostles, the apostles follow in the same tradition. They teach, and then there is a miracle. They had just converted 3,000 people to the Lord, and there must have been a lot of healings. But this healing of the lame man was the first one recorded by the apostles in the scriptures. Peter and John, they went as a team. They spoke as a team. And Luke wants to show us that Jesus always sent out the disciples in pairs. In the 10th, in the 10th chapter of Luke's gospel, Jesus sends out 70 of them in pairs so that they may go out and proclaim the gospel. They were not to take any haversack. They were not to take any purses. They were to go into the village and proclaim the word of God in season and out of season. And if people received them, they were supposed to stay at that same house. Now we find Peter and, and John doing the same thing. In our gospel today, we find Cleophas and his companions, a pair. And the reason is pretty simple. Jesus sent them in pairs because if things went badly, one could support the other, encourage the other, and strengthen the other. If things went beautifully and they were ready to take off, one could put the brakes and keep a balance. So here we have two of the disciples. It's on Easter Sunday, Cleophas and his companions, and they are going out on to Emmaus, which is 12, 11 kilometers. Today you will find it on Highway 1, on the road from, Tel Aviv, from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv. And 11 kilometers away is the Latrun Crossing, or the Ayalon Village. And strikingly enough, and for reasons I don't know, it is called Canada Park. Very surprising. And here they are walking together, totally dismayed. The two shortest, were, the shortest verse in the gospel you will find in the raising of Lazarus, Jesus wept. The saddest words in the gospel, in my opinion, are in this story. They had hope. They had put all their trust in Jesus of Nazareth. They had put all their eggs in this basket because they believed that he was the one. He had proved it in the way he spoke. He was better than the scribes and the Pharisees. He was wonderful in what he worked and what he said. And unfortunately, they thought that he would manage at the end. He had escaped on various occasions when they tried to crucify him because his hour had not yet come. But finally, everything seemed to be, have, be lost. And then Jesus walks with them and talks with them. And that's a wonderful thing. Whenever anybody encounters Jesus face to face, they are never the same again. When... <clears throat> Andrew and John met Jesus at the River Jordan. They went and spent the evening with him. They were never the same. Zacchaeus climbed the tree in Jericho, a sycamore tree. And when Jesus called him down, his life was never the same again. Now here we have the disciples on the road to Emmaus. 
their lives will never be the same again because now they recognize Jesus. They can see him face to face and their lives will change entirely. We're not our hearts burning. And that is one of the things that you and I experience. We went to church on Good Friday. We were emotional. We were all excited. We listened at the Easter Vigil to the wonderful readings that showed that Jesus was the Messiah. Jesus is our Savior. But we cannot just live on emotions all the time. It has to be a deep conviction, and that deep conviction can only come when we encounter Jesus face to face. In the Sinai Desert, Moses met God face to face, and he was never the same again. We want that same encounter as Moses had with God, with Jesus Christ in our lives. We come up to receive the Eucharist, but then we go back to our place. We need to listen to what the Lord will tell us, and he will tell us wonderful things indeed. Were not our hearts burning as we encountered Jesus? God bless you all. Would you join me now as we pray together? For all those in our daily televised mass prayer intention book, we pray to the Lord. Lord this Easter season, we offer our community prayer in thanksgiving for the news, new life that is ours in the risen Christ. May we be strengthened by his healing presence among us so that we might live in peace and glorify him side by, uh, by our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord for our sponsors today, for the repose of the soul of Tyron Wong and the Wong, deceased members of the Wong family, and for the health of our sponsor, we pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, we break all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> My sisters, my brothers, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us the salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Francis our Bishop, all the clergy and this entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Remember Tyron Wong and the deceased members of the Wong family who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And wherever you are, let us offer one another a sign of peace and friendship. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Amen. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. We gather.